What's going on with Sacramento real estate as we're entering the fall of 2020? You might be thinking that if you're thinking about either buying or selling in the near future. Hey everybody, Doug Reynolds here, your Sacramento area realtor. Love doing real estate videos, giving information for both buyers and sellers in the Sacramento real estate area. Feel free to subscribe, like, so you can make sure that you get good information when I'm pumping these videos out to you. You can also check me out at realestatewithdoug.com. Feel free to reach out if you're thinking about buying and you got some questions, or maybe selling's the right time for you and you wanna kind of dip your toe in the water. Uh, reach out to me, we can get the ball started with it. just some conversations and see if it's right timing for you and everything, okay? So, just wanted to talk about kind of a few things. We're starting to transition into the fall 2020 here, um, kind of at the end of September, beginning of October right now. A few little things I wanted to talk about. We are coming off of maybe a little bit of one of the most insane real estate markets ever. Uh, things were looking really strong in February, March. Uh, coronavirus hits, we all know about that. The real estate market basically kind of went into a little bit of a hibernation for a month, two months. Not really much was going on, some, but not much. After about mm, six to eight weeks, things started to thaw out and buyers started coming into the market. Interest rates were really low and buyers were just like, hey, I've got a good job, things are stable. I'm realizing this place that I'm in is way too small now. It's very clearly obvious and I wanna buy a house. And so a bunch of buyers came out and because of coronavirus, not that many sellers put their house on the market at that time. And so since then, since let's say April, May, since about May, May, June, July, and August, we're talking intense, crazy real estate market. We pretty much had a spring and a summer market crammed into one in 2020 here in Sacramento. So we have been seeing prices increasing. We have seen multiple offers, prices, uh, houses selling above list price in most cases. And I'm not talking just at three or 400,000, I'm talking at 900. I had an over list price property sell this summer above a, basically a million and a half. We had an offer over the list price. So it's all price point ranges right now. Uh, also had one in the 950 range. It sold over list price as well. So it was a crazy real estate market. It still is right now. But a couple of things I wanted to kind of point out. School, distance learning chaos has begun here. And I'm seeing uh, there's been a little bit of some pullback in the market. I think there's quite a few buyers that were trying, fighting, scratching, clawing with each other in the summer that didn't get their offers accepted, that would be buying right now, but they've kind of hit the pause button because they got so much on their plate now trying to figure out Google Classroom and what time are you zooming over here and this and that and computers and everything, uh, trying to all be in the house together and figure this out, plus trying to work from home and all these things. There are, I think, I'm seeing and sensing and feeling a good amount of buyers that have kind of hit the pause button just simply logistically, they cannot, they don't have enough bandwidth to handle distance learning, working from home, coronavirus, everything, plus actively searching for a home on the market right now. So there's some of that going on. So I'm sensing that a little bit. A few properties right now that I'm like, whoa, that would have sold with 10 offers right away. You know, it kind of took a few extra days and only was maybe two or three offers or one or two offers. Um, so I think those buyers are just hitting pause and they're gonna be coming back pretty soon here and start trickling in. It's not as if things have just stopped. It's just, we were so white hot intense it's kind of shifted just a little bit as I'm getting the sense and feel for that right now, okay? Not a drastic change, but a subtle change. Additionally, we've got, <laughs> in case you didn't know, there's an election coming up this year. In case you haven't heard anything about that, you know, on the news, the election's coming up beginning in November. It's a kind of a wild card. Four years ago, eight years ago, 12 years ago, 
I observed in the real estate market that two, three, four weeks before, some other buyers would kind of hit pause. I go, oh, something doesn't feel right. I feel nervous. I don't feel, this doesn't feel right. I don't want to make a big financial decision right now because the news is just pumping me with fear and I don't feel good and so I'm going to wait. And so that's kind of, we're, we're transitioning to that time frame there. I'm curious to see what happens. I'm not predicting necessarily that that is gonna happen, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see some buyers that also kind of hit the pause button as we approach October because of the election that's kind of looming with everything that's going on as well too. So just some observations. I'm gonna stop rambling, but I'm seeing some pause buyer pauses going on because of school stuff, I believe, and I'm curious if we're gonna have some other buyer pauses going on right before the election. I think we're gonna move through all of this without any type of major drastic change in the market. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to have a pretty strong winter this year just because of the intensity of the summer market that was, but just throwing some observations out there. Hope this is helpful. Once again, realestatewithdoug.com is my website. would love to chat with you whether you're thinking about buying or selling. I'm here to help. Hope you're doing well. I'll talk to you soon and clear skies.